Welcome back to the Marketing Ninja Podcast with Manuel Suarez, CEO of Attention Grabbing Media and author of number one bestseller, Marketing Magic. Social media is a path for us to share value with each other. You know how many lives we've made better because of social media? You know how many businesses were saved? You think about the COVID pandemic, 2021. If you don't have social media, the economy today will be at a very different, lower condition. Social media, I can tell you, kept my businesses alive and growing, just like it did for many other millions of businesses because we had no ability to actually see people in person. Social media was my only calm line to the world. So this idea of social media being evil, is just what is being done with social media, the problem that needs to be, you gotta decide, do you wanna be in the pro survival side or do you wanna be in the destructive side? Do you wanna be on the side of people that wish or do you wanna be on the side of people that do? You make a decision on where do you wanna go. There's a thing called the algorithm, right? The algorithm. I personally make it a point that you should do this of cleaning up my social media consistently and telling the platforms what I want and what I don't want. I actually make it a point, okay? And you should do this too. And that way it becomes a platform for you to do better, to be better, to improve yourself. So when I do social media, I open up Facebook. Anything that I feel it's not what I wanna see, I take it off. And I keep on teaching the algorithm, Facebook, what they need to give me and what they don't need to give me. Uh, and it learns. Anybody here a married couple? So if you guys go out to a dinner date, if Christopher is gonna go out to dinner with Susanna, but they have to drive separate cars, Let's say that you guys have a 7 p.m. dinner appointment and Susanna gets there and uh, she takes the table. She sits down. Christopher calls her and said, honey, I, I got delayed. My boss came out and he threatened me with firing me unless I give him an extra half an hour. You know what I want. You know me better than anybody. So then Susanna goes like, yeah, I do, honey. Okay, take care of your job because I, I do need you to provide for this family. So then Susanna, picks out the menu, and she uses her experience to determine what she's gonna order for him. She knows he likes salad. She knows that maybe he likes a glass of red wine. She knows that he likes soup, maybe an onion soup. Uh, and um, he's gonna have a ribeye steak. And she also knows that he likes it medium well. Whatever, I'm just making this up. So then she places the order, and uh, when he gets there, it's like he was there ordering all the time because it's exactly what he would have ordered. That's how social media works. The system learns from you. So if you watch garbage, what is the system going to feed you? Right, so when I open up my TikTok, do you think I, fee I see stupid little dancing girls and like people cursing and rappers smoking drugs? Do you think I see that? So please, don't blame it on the platform and blame it on yourself. If when you open up the feed, all you see is things that you don't like, you created that yourself. In my case, so I see, for example, I see a marketer over here promoting a product. Oh, wow, surprise, surprise, they know I'm a marketer. I see, what is this? This is a random post of somebody sharing stupidity. You know what I do with this? This is stupid. This is Facebook telling me that, oh, you wanna see if uh, everybody likes this, people falling, you wanna waste your time with this yourself? 14.3 million views. No, I said, listen, dude, don't show me this. I go and I click on show less. And then it tells me at the bottom, got it. Less suggested posts in your feed. Okay, got it, thank you, I'm teaching it. Uh, I got the Dallas Cowboys. I'm a big Cowboy fan, that makes sense. Or I'm a football fan. Uh, and then I got like something else, she can hold her breath for seven minutes. Interesting, I'm not gonna watch it. I might tell that, hey, don't, uh, just don't show me this again. So you see, I'm not being fed stupidity. I'm being fed marketing stuff. So it's as simple as that. You teach it and give it what you want and the system will give you more of what you want. That's the way that it's built. That is the beautiful thing about social media. And the same thing is applicable with all these platforms. So now when you go to social media, it becomes like, hey, how can I make myself better? How can I reach more of my goals? How can I expand? How can I know what I don't know? You know why? Because you don't know what you don't know. So you're gonna go out there and discover what other people know, like me. 
that are helping people succeed at a high level that you might not be there yet. So once you guys got your superpower, you know what you do, right? You know how you can help people. That is the number one thing that you got to figure out. What is your value? How can you help them? How can you improve their lives? How does your product and service work? How would it change a person for the good? How can your information make somebody else better? Once you, you have that figured out, you start creating valuable content to share your knowledge and message with the world. Focus on helping others. I do workshops, I do trainings, I, I educate people consistently, I do this nonstop. My father did this for ages. 3,000 videos made on his content, nonstop, reaching millions of people every day right now still. Hey, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the podcast, go ahead, leave us a review and subscribe to tune in for future episodes. And if you're looking for a team that'll go above and beyond for you and your brand, go to talktoaninja.com today.